If you're considering creating a digital edition of your print magazine, then you could quite literally start with the print file, open it up inside of InDesign, choose to publish online, and InDesign will upload it to the Adobe server where it'll be hosted. The end user can then access it via URL, and all they need is a web browser. As you can see here on the desktop version, it doesn't need any interactivity. By default, Adobe will add interactive tables of contents and page turns, and even ways that you can share and download a version if you want to allow them to do that as well. The only major restriction is that you can't upload a book document. You can only upload the open existing InDesign document to publish online. So you'd have to combine multiple documents together to create an entire publication in that scenario. If, however, you wish to go down a digital only route, then it would be definitely worthwhile thinking about the size of the publication you're going to create. What device will your audience choose to consume it on? Would it be desktop? Would it be a tablet device? It certainly wouldn't be a very enjoyable experience creating something that's the size of a smartphone, for example. When your publication is uploaded online, it's kind of really like a PDF, except that you can choose to add a layer of interactivity on the top of that. So if you take a, an A4 document or an iPad document, and then you view it on a smartphone, it will simply scale down in size to fit on screen. I found in the past that choosing one of the iPad presets tends to work really well. It's allowed me to cater for those that wish to view something on a tablet device of a reasonable size and also desktop as well. So whether you choose to start with your original print based file or create something specifically for on screen viewing, think very carefully about the size that you intend to publish at because it will have a huge impact not only on your workflow if you get it wrong, but also for the end user's experience.